So with the ground beef, I'm gonna prep them into uh, little burgers, like sliders, and really simple, okay? It's gonna, I've done it all in the past, like with se seasoning the meat, going all out, and which is fine. And then one day I just started to um, separate them into little big, like little meatball size um, patties. Uh, and then I made it without hardly any seasoning and I really enjoyed it that way. Cause I add my toppings to it, like bacon and cheese and onions and mushrooms. And that was just fine. And then you can season it afterwards with hot sauce, that sort of thing. But really simple and tasteful. Because I find with less seasoning, then I could taste the, the meat, the burger itself. So that's my opinion. So in between, I'll put the, the meat in there, the, the sliders. And I'll fold it and then on top another one and then store it in a Ziploc bag and then freeze it. And then I have uh, sliders on the go, ready to be made for my lunch or dinner. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to um, form the burger sliders. I'm gonna use a measuring cup. So this is a one third cup. I looked at the show you the different sizes this will make a smaller one obviously the quarter cup and then yeah these are great to form the patties to start or you can do the one cup is quite large for a full burger I find these days I can't I used to be able to eat so much like a full burger and then it's just too much for me now. Whenever, if I go to a restaurant, I look for sliders. So that's my, that's my seller. And then, yeah, and then the three sliders are just enough for me to eat and feel comfortable. And then if I overdo it, um, Or full burger it's just too much like and if I have a full burger I you know like to cut it in half this might even be too big I don't know because it does shrink up right when you're I I don't have a barbecue well I do it's not set up and I don't have a place to really set it up um, I have a part a portable uh, barbecue that's still in the in its box uh so yeah so about that size so i i um squash it down because then when i pan fry it, it's going to shrink up anyway and yeah no seasoning i like it without it tastes really good so, yeah, camera. So I placed it in between the sheet. Another one's gonna go on top, and so on. So another one. Really simple. All these other years, I overload it with seasoning, which is good, but then. That's all I taste it was the seasoning. I want it to taste the meat. I'm gonna do two of the of uh, the one third cup size, and then I'm gonna check out the quarter cup measurement. Here, I should show you the rolls that I got at Longo's. It's the brioche buns. Uh, this is brand is the Canadian Dempsters. Um, so I'm just, you know, making sure that it's not the meat 
the burger sliders are not gonna be too big for the bun too, right? So that might be, when it shrinks up, it might be okay, but it'll be thick. So I'm gonna put a little sheet on top of that. Make sure it sticks onto the meat. And I'm gonna try it with the quarter cup. Yeah, the quarter cup might be better. I mean, I it's been a while since I made a uh, beef slider, so I kind of forget <laughs> which measuring cup I used last time. So that might be better. At least I have two sizes to to go by. And then I'm gonna get have more sliders <laughs> out of the quarter cup measurement. this for my lunch after I make this video <laughs> so I'll leave this one out off to the side I have to, I'll probably have two sliders that's enough for me and the Caesar salad I'll make a Caesar salad to go with it into the Ziploc bag. Yeah, I bought the, this two a day ago or so. Yeah, I didn't have time to. Normally, I would do it right away, so that's why it's a bit just getting the air gotten to it. So it's all okay. Watch. And out a bit more. Wait, 
maybe I'll just make this one as well. Um, huh. I don't want, yeah, maybe I'll have them, three of them. This is, or two and a half. <laughs> that looks like a half. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. And then we're going to have here one, two, four, four in this pile. And squish it down a little bit more. of ground beef. So these ones are going to be in the freezer. So I feel like having a, a slider it's ready for me to pan fry them. Frying up some bacon for my sliders. Here I am sauteing onions. I seasoned it here with salt and pepper, paprika, and some parsley flakes. I just added the mushrooms on top of the onions, and I am sauteing this in the bacon fat. Sauteing really nicely. At this point, I'll oh, turn it down a little bit more. Put the cheese on top, but it'll melt. Right, actually, turn it off. You see that it's quite hot already, the temperature. And then I like to put a lid on it, so, so the cheese will melt. Here's my sliders, small Caesar salad with homemade dressing and croutons. I am ready for my lunch. I'm starving. I'm going to probably add some Tabasco sauce or, you know, like some hot sauce to this while I'm eating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.